Now, some folks in Carpinteria are asking who let the dogs out. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. And John, you did some digging to find out. Yeah, I'm right inside of the Sea Dog Park in Carpinteria this evening. And for years, Carpinteria dog lovers have wanted to have an off-leash park like this. And they've tried some areas, and it just didn't quite work out. But then they found this location, and they hope that it'll be a positive site for the long haul. You're so soft. He is so soft. Look how friendly he is. Dogs are running and romping around like never before in Carpinteria's new off-leash area at Monte Vista Park on Baylord Avenue. Okay, you ready? 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 Smelly! One, two, three! <laughs> at the ribbon cutting over the weekend, the Carpinteria Dog Owners Group, or Sea Dog, celebrated with city leaders. Tails were wagging and neighbors were finding this area as a new gathering spot. Visitors are expected to enjoy it as well. It's their way to socialize, yeah. not just with their dogs and with their friends, but with their friends' dogs. And so it just it creates a lot of more and more circles of, of socialness for people. A lot of people lived here over 25 years, and they said, I've met more people in a week at the dog park than I've met in 25 years living here. Their only socialization is their dog, and they've come here every single day, and they get attention from the kids, from the owners of other dogs, they're making friends. People who don't have a dog may not understand the, the, the bond that, that humans have with dogs and the comfort that dogs give them. I mean, every day is Christmas for a dog. Yeah. Uh, they wake up and they see you, their tail wags. And One resident described herself as a dog owner, a senior citizen, and an introvert. But not everyone's a dog owner and they don't know how much difference it makes in dog behavior to actually be in a park where they learn to socialize yeah. and they get to know different people and different types of breeds so that they don't freak out everyone. Before coming to this location, the trial off-leash dog park was at El Caro Park, closer to the center of town. But this location has turned out to be a better fit. It's not interfering with, with the, the field areas or with the playground. This, it, it, this feels like this part was made for it. The dogs and owners have to abide by rules and be on good behavior. Now and then you'll hear some barking, but it's said to be playful. They're saying, give me the ball, give me the ball. But, you know, they're not barking out of anger. And for super active dogs, oh, what a relief this is. There's a lot of energy. Yeah. And so even though we hike the Franklin Trail in the mornings, he still has energy. And we might come here one to three times a day. Two, three. Thank, Thank you, Carpentria, for the dog park. Yeah, they're very happy. The Sea Dog Group has been working on this for so long. This park is free for anyone not just Carpinterians, but anyone in the Central Coast can come through here if you're in the Carpinteria area. Some parks, as you know, charge some fees. It's open at 7.30 every morning, and it closes at sunset. We're inside the Sea Dog Park. There's a few dogs in. It's a good time to come down. It's got a lot of space right now. Reporting live in Carpinteria, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. All right, thank you, John. Looks like fun out there. Thanks. Well, the Women's Fund is a